Um, I think the, um, the issues of the election uh, basically have to do with the environment and green jobs, that's my opinion, but the question I want to ask today is Mr. Lamrock, and uh, I want to talk, I've been opposed to Mr. Lamrock for on the issues of French immersion that uh, Craig Leonard fought for and I fought for my children's French. And uh, so I used to scream at Kelly Lamrock in the legislature when he tried to destroy our, our education system. But today, I want to talk, I want to ask a question about character. And the question I want to ask about character is to ask you, Kelly Lamrock, if you remember where you were on the evening of April 30th, 2008, when we had the flood the largest flood in New Brunswick since 1974. If you don't remember where you were that night, April 30th, I will, read it, I will refresh your memory. This is the legislative activities taken off the internet for the year 2008. And on page eight, you can all access, this is on the internet. On page eight, you will find that Mr. Lamrock and the rest of the Liberal caucus that he was in at the time, while the rest of Fredericton was bailing out the Playhouse, the rest of Fredericton was bailing out the Beaverbrook Art Gallery, the rest of Fredericton was bailing out the, um, the, the, uh, the legislative building. The legislative building had no power, they had no electricity, and Mr. Lamrock and the MLAs in the dark were voting themselves the biggest Pay in the history of New Brunswick. And I want to ask the question, are you in politics to do good for the people, or are you in politics to get back your platinum pay raise that you raised for yourself in 2008, and basically, are you in politics for the people, or are you in politics to line your pockets? May I see that picture? May I see the legislature picture? Okay. Right there. Well, I want everyone to see this, I'm not in that. Because I do remember where I was on that night in 2008. I represented Majorville in Barker's Point, Marysville at the time. And we had people underwater too. And I was going door to door, handing out information on flood relief. And it's worth noting that at 48 hours later, families who had lost appliances, Families who were worried that their elderly relatives wouldn't be able to get their basements unflooded. They had the arrangement for the workers they needed. They had flood relief packages. And I went door to door, and you can check the pictures on Facebook. Not generic tourist photos, but actual pictures of me going door to door through flooded houses, making sure that people did actually got the help they needed and the information they wanted. The fact of the matter is, like everyone here, I'm a lawyer. I've supported myself, I've started a business. I can assure you, sir, I have a very good legal practice and I make a lot more doing that than I ever would in the legislature. Now you can disagree with my ideas, and that's fine. But if you're going to ask a leading question and attack my character, you'd better get your facts right. If you're going to ask... Look, I don't have any feelings left to hurt. You can attack my ideas. I'll defend them till the cows come home. But one thing I will not do, ever, is invalidate the people who disagree with me. I believe you can disagree with me and be a good person. I believe you can be a good, disagree with me and find common ground. I believe you still have something to add. And I will never stoop to personal attacks. I will never misrepresent the facts and, sir, the ability to go door to door during a flood and make sure people get help is exactly the job we're running for. Lots of people here would do that. I'm one of them.